Hey, iPhone looks up in the microphone. Gaze or Colom. What's that? I'm going to wait to so long. Let's call some. Hey, fix it. It can't fix itself. Praise the Lord. Are you ready for something this morning? I can't hear that. Are you ready for something this morning? You see, a person that is anticipating is a person or langazele layo. What in the langazelela? Thank you, my queen. Sia bonga kulo bazalane. Praise the Lord. Zokana nimbolega ba nimbolega yoneleo. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. These days, I've been feeling something. Gate. Ngizwa, something which is going to These days, I've been feeling like something is going to happen today. Begosi mang kabanga ngikonzi yangi sone nanda kube kona ushewa nuli kichima pesu kwam. When I think about the Sunday service at Inanda, there's electricity that I feel in my body. Niyafisa na wewe kube nuklanga zelelo na kwa. I desire for you to also have a desire. Ngoba kona zogwenze. Because something is going to happen. Angiazi oni yini. I don't know exactly what it is, but it is a beautiful thing. It is going to happen. In a very short space of time, it's going to happen. We welcome all of those listening on highway radio, on car radio, and on car radio, and those that are watching on car TV, Facebook, and YouTube, and on Facebook and YouTube, and our website, as well as our website. We welcome them all. I say to you, be expectant. Be prepared now, because something is going to happen. Right now, we are at the airport. In South Africa, I think we have about 20 ports that come into South Africa with things that are also being exported. And at these ports, some of them are for airplanes and others are for ships and others are for trains. There are things that are being brought in from outside that enter through these ports. I don't know if you understand me. So, manje, ngabona eskati gu figi vaccine. I recall when the vaccine was coming. Ah, ah, guagno president, guno minister, kona lapana ge e e king e e e e e oartamba. At the oartamba, there were presidents and ministers. Ne intateli zai linde le hizo book. And the reporters were waiting and watching. Figi vaccine in South Africa. Waiting for the vaccine to arrive in South Africa. Yeah, he's alone. You hear this? So ngamanya mazungu ba konde especially a istingo. Because there was something that was special and necessary. I believe today there is something that is a necessity. I don't know which port is going to enter through. But I think it's going to enter from this port. The one that receives things from this port. And bring it in for it to be ours. Now I want you to have influence. Like our government that was waiting to receive the vaccine. Because something is going to happen today. It's good for you to be expected. Because I that is working and being connecting with the one God. We have already done it. It has been signed off and it has been released from the heavens. All that's left is for you to be received on earth. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So, so now it depends on you who's coming to receive because something is going to happen. I can feel it. So, when we receive, we receive from the port, we receive things that come from the outside. There are things that have been declared a long time ago. Hallelujah. 
Uguzo koni zinde ige ibanjo. You know things that have been caught up. Ego eza bando. That belong to other people. Tuwa zibambe ge airport. But they've been held up at the airport. Kutingegum na zwazo saina. The owner has to come and pay off. Noma zo koki maletizi. Or to come and pay a certain ransom. Ako kenu receiver of revenue. Se engfunu guchu wenube nako. I want you to have. Aiki ndia na mantla njenga leo ugusi eno zo gwa mgela. There's nothing that has more power than that who's coming to receive. A a a bine excitement. That there's something that I'm going to receive. That even when they're waiting, they're not waiting. waiting but they're waiting in joy. They're waiting with some Others will come and join them because they know that something is going to happen. That the mother is so distribute la yonkenda. Ugu tifige o arichambo. Isa zo isa utafrika yonke. It's not going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces sa South Africa. All the provinces are going to be distributed all over the land. Bonke guo unga ma provinces it's something that we've been desiring for. It's something that we've been longing for. It's something that we've needed for a long time. You see when something is coming. I'll tell you. They were prophets. That desired. And they were seeking. Which time the Christ also import will be imported? Amen. They didn't see the time. But it was hidden. Until Until the messenger came. And entered through the port. airport. And came to the port. It was a young maiden called Mary. And they said, blessed are you, young woman. Because you are going to be the airport. You're going to be the heavenly port. That connects heaven with earth. Receive it. Do you hear that? To receive something from heaven. That's going to enter through you. And come to Israel. Then going to fill up the whole earth. Do you know what Mary said? She asked, how will this happen? Because I do not even know. Have said, Are there any is there anyone who will say, Let it be done to you? as your words have spoken? Something is going to just as you have said, Let it be done to you. If you just say, Let it be done to you, as your words have spoken. You see what has been spoken? The words that have been spoken have power to do things. I don't know if you can hear what I'm saying. Say amen if you hear me. Do you hear me, brethren? There's a port that we also have. That is a port through which things enter. That is called the mind. You see your mind? Can abort things that have arrived at the airport and send them back to the sender? They are there. But act like they are not there. When the things have arrived at the airport, being brought in by airplanes. 
That means you were not prepared. Oh Maria, no. Mary did that and said no. I will not abort. What you've spoken, I want it to be done unto me as you have spoken. I want to say to you, prepare yourself. Because there's something that God is going to do. He wants that are prepared and those who are expectant. Do you hear me, brethren? Those who are expectant for them to receive what you're going to receive that's what's going to change your life. Do you know words? Do you know how powerful words are? Do you know how powerful words are? Some of you you use words anyhow. I learned the hard way to choose my words wisely. I mustn't just speak haphazardly. Because when I say something, when I speak, I mustn't say it too much. I will speak once and it will happen. Why? The words that I speak have weight. Some of us, even when they speak, we don't even take notice because they are famous because of lies. They are known for gossip. We no longer believe what they say. Do you hear me, brethren? I remember one day God taught me how powerful words are. When he was teaching me, I had a meeting with another a police station. And with another person at the police superintendent. station. With the superintendent. So, I was on the and I was an hour late. And while I was still on the way, then I started thinking of ideas. Then I said, I'll say to this superintendent, my child broke my phone. That is why I'm so late. And I couldn't call him because I couldn't turn my phone on. And I started thinking of these schemes. And I thought and I analyzed. Then when I arrived to him, they're showing me his office. And I explained to him what happened. He said, I don't even need to hear. I'm just happy that you have arrived in this office. And now I'm thinking of the lies that have been filled in my head. And my lies have filled the whole body. And I'm thinking of the lies that have been filled in my head. But he didn't need to hear my excuses. He didn't need to hear my excuses. He was just glad that the servant has entered into his office. Peace be with you. And I entered. And we did what we needed to do. I prayed for him. I advised him. And I counseled him. And then I left. And when I left, I was brought back. Do you hear this? I was brought back. He said to me, why didn't you tell me you didn't have a car? I would have yeah, sent you a car to fetch you where you are. But now the man has spoken. So now when they take me back home, I turn on the television and I watch the television. When I'm watching the television, he comes among you. He was still a young boy. But my figure, he comes, he holds onto the sofa, he holds onto the table, and he went straight to my cell phone. Hey, lapo ge. And it was as if my words came out. Like I'm not noticing anything. I'm watching the television. But the words that I spoke said, Sedi, you are needed here. Your dad spoke, said that you, you broke his phone. Now, because we don't want to make your father a liar, even though he's repenting that he's lying, he doesn't have lies. Let's make what he said 
said he came. What tabuzela? He comes. What kibela? What bambelele esofeni? He holds onto the table. What holds onto the table? What finyele the phone? And reaches my phone. What bambi phone? And he grabs it. What ifage mlonye? Puts it in his mouth. What ibuki? Looks at it. What? Then he says. Amazwe ami ati. The ulta ubava wako uibula lili phone. The word said your dad said he broke the phone. Let's not make him a liar. Break the phone, my son. He held the phone and he threw it onto the floor. And it was shattered. And it shattered into pieces. And the way that I imagined it, when I was speaking my lies, it became when I started to shout in my soul. And the Holy Spirit said, keep quiet. Because the child is only doing what you said that he did. What you said that he did. He was far away. He wasn't there. But the words that you said went with you until the word became filled. I see that only a few have received this from the airport. It's okay, you'll get it later. Some say it's called a missed call. Do you hear me, brethren? Then I gathered the pieces of my phone. Then I remembered. Speak anyhow. It doesn't need to be like me. But once it is music, what is it? It goes until it is fulfilled. That's why the Lord says, My word does not come back unfulfilled. My word will not return to me. Can I ask you? How many words have you spoken that have not yet become fulfilled? How many words have you spoken that have not yet been fulfilled? They're still going to be fulfilled. Many words are so powerful. Even if you could die, but they remain. People can kill you, but they cannot kill the words you have spoken. There are words that are negative that you have bound yourself to. You see, if you die, you think you're deceiving the next person, but you are binding yourself. Who are you binding? Who are you binding? You think you're deceiving the other person. But when you speak the truth, it frees you. When you receive the truth, it, it frees you. I don't know if anyone can hear me. My Jesus. Do you hear me, brother? Then from that day, then I understood that the words that I speak, let me not just speak. Just because I'm saying. Let me see. Because I want to see. Let me speak. Because I want it to be revealed. I want it to manifest. That spirit leads. I don't say it many times. Why? Because what I say. Has been. I'm in a partnership. With the heavens. The heavens is what I believe. When he, when he declared, let there be limits. Imagine if he repeated how many sons there would be. He said, let there be a moon. How many moons? But he spoke once. But his children, they don't believe in the word that he has spoken. They don't believe in the word that he has spoken. You speak anyhow. They just slander. I want you to believe what you're going to say. Whether you believe it or not, it is going to happen. Another thing that I've learned about words is that whether you believe them or you don't believe them, they happen. 
Even no man abe usu usu swangu lugi. Even when you're sober mind, amazo sapil. The words because they were released from you. I don't know how many times langenga kulula kona banta ba ibopenga mazui abo. I don't know how many times I've released people who have bound themselves up with their own words. Usu usu jam tanda zelumonda ibo agapumi. When you pray for this person, they will not get out. In dabu agapum. Why won't you get out? Usu 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 bopi ubo. But you can see the keypad is written. The lock is written. And you ask, have you ever spoken these words in your life? And they say yes. But it was hard. And I said, those are the very words that are holding you back. And yourself now. And the person will be free instantaneously. Is there someone that I'm speaking? You speak until you forget what you've spoken. Hey. That's why we make declare every day. Every now and then. Say, say this. Because we're cancelling the words that you bound yourself up with. You see right now? We can't touch one another because of the coronavirus. You see this? What do we need to do when we pray? I just have to speak. You need to have the faith. With my I say something is going to happen. That alone should make you go crazy. Why? I've come to speak. I've come to declare. I know my God. I know the anointing that is on God said when he spoke to Jeremiah, he said, I've placed my words in your mouth. I've placed my words in your mouth so that you would be able to speak and be able to open and to be able to open and to be able to open. In other words, the word of God, just like Jeremiah, I know to be able to open and to be able to open. I can open and 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 I can open. I bind them early and I will be bound in the beginning and I will release them today there is a pearl that I am going to release I am going to release them in South Africa I am going to receive the vaccine and 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 I am going to manifest and the future to solve it. So figure it out. We are poaching as a mountain carnation. But so good. Come and walk. But so good to South Africa. But so good to Africa. Because as soon as catch it, if we let it, the airport is not for you. Open is no longer closed. When the government opened the port, I saw it in the sky. The authority, the first statements of the country. Maxwell, we will have a port of entry. No matter how much I'm going to name them, the statesman in my country, I'm the ambassador in my country. Not even I'm the servant. I have fully, I have fully got my port. I'm a miracle. I'm a figure. No matter what. Brother by your side, I'm a porch of Vulegi. The ports are open. Heavenly porch of Vulegi. Heavenly ports are open. Heavenly porch of Vulegi. Heavenly ports are open. Something is about to happen. Yes, Akuta Mahata. I'm releasing in the force of God. I'm releasing in the force of Mount Zion Carnation. I 
into my city Lviv port. When something has been delivered to the port. Gazi uguti sifigil. It is known that it has arrived. Yamane pa noy. You see when an airplane. Now they unload the app ya. We download its app. When it's coming, it will say that it's been received. It's going to leave at such and such a time. Do you hear this? It says the airplane is arrived. When you're at the airport, there are screens there that tell you which airplanes will come at which time. And if you know yours with its flight number, and you look up there, that it will now come. And when it's delayed, it is written. It, will say, it is delayed by this much time. But I can hear from the that in not so long. Are you hearing what I'm saying? In other words, you. Mm. Be ready to receive. <laughs> Be ready to do what? To receive. You, you see, this, the gospel of receiving is easy. It is easy to receive. You see, your, you see your mind? My tool. If it's at peace, it's easy to receive. You don't have to hear it many times. Your mind, in itself it is a port to receive things that come from the realm of words. Because you can't see words, but you can hear them. Words are powerful. Do you hear this? Words they live forever. Words make them were not, not there to become. Words you don't know where they reside. You don't know where they live. Once they are released, when they're released by someone, they have the DNA of that person and they belong to that person. When God said, Let there be a son, it was his words that created the DNA that were created with his DNA. When you speak words, they have your DNA. I when you ask your parents who gave me my name, because the person who spoke had a purpose when they named you that name. It's like, it's like you could know what possessed them to give you that name. Because as you've been named by the person, there's something that comes from them that is in you. Do you hear this? That's why when God told Abraham, changing his name from Abraham to Abraham, because he had put his DNA in him because they were in partnership. Do you hear me, brethren? Do you hear what I'm saying? So, when you think about it, there's something that I've learned through doing deliverance. That when a sorcerer gives you muti, it doesn't, it doesn't work without the spirit of the one who gave you that muti. And the one who also received that muti to go and bewitch you. Going to use that on you. There is an agreement between that person and the that as it's coming to you, it's going to go with their DNA. 
When I used to pray for people, The Saying the words of David saying, I hate your enemies with my whole heart. It was sent by so and so. And when I'm finished with that, I'll go to that so and so in the spirit. And they'll manifest in my And when I finish and they'll say a certain thing then I'll go straight to that sorcerer and when I'm done with that sorcerer and they'll say no I got it from a certain sorcerer from a certain land so now I must go there that means I'd be traveling through lands in the spirit Do you hear me, brethren? So, you so ask the Holy Spirit why you can't He will say, just as your words, when you speak them, have your DNA. They go with you. It is known that who spoke these words. It's amazing to me that you will you will forget that you spoke these words. Words travel with you. Another can say, get out of him. You remember? I know Jesus. And those, who speak those words, who are you? Because I'm moved by words that are spoken by someone who has anointing. Well, I know Paul. Paul says, Do the work. I speak the words and I leave. But they will stay. And he took him to the valley of the dry bones. And he said, what do you see? I see dry bones. You know what God did? Because he's in heaven. Where he's seated. Because he wants the words. Like, and he said, dry bones come together. Who's speaking? But who? But who? So once you speak words, okay, you will recognize love. And you're gossiping about them. Do you know what happens? When they hear you, but without hearing you, they will hear you when they're at home. But you spoke the words of love. Do you know what happened? they'll have dreams at night that you were chasing because it depends on how deep your hatred is if you want them to die you will pursue them with knives if you want them to get injured you will pursue them with knives you will dream you will deep your hatred is for that person. And they will hear you and they'll dream of When they have an evil heart, they will also hate you. Then you'll also dream about that person. Do you hear this? But they'll ask themselves, why are those person, they walk with you wherever you go. No, and you even forget the words that you've spoken, which is even more dangerous. Isn't the things that are right that you're supposed to remember, you forget, but the wrong things you remember. 
Lazarus. When Jesus saw Lazarus in the grave, he spoke words. He said, Lazarus, get out. How many times did he say that? How many times did he say that? And then what happened? He came out. When they told him, they said he is smelling. He is now rotten. He has Four days. He has now rotten. But he spoke one word that removed all the rot and all the foul smell that took him out of the position. He spoke one word that entered into the grave that got rid of all the rot and got rid of all the foul smell. He didn't have many details. I'm taking all the foul smell and the rot and I'm calling you out from the dead. Jesus just said, Lazarus, get out. And his word came out of Jesus into the and they took Lazarus and the rot was just melted away. Because even rot is a person, it is a spirit. When the word of Jesus came and took Lazarus, the death ran away. The rot ran away. 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 Even the foul smell away. And then why do you think that when they curse you, you smell? It's because the curse is over you. Because the curse is over you. When I speak a word, it says I bless you. The word that says I bless you. It doesn't look at the curse. It doesn't look at the it doesn't look like the the mess, mess, but it comes and it takes it, it, and it puts you to the land of success and it puts you in the land of joy and it puts you in the land of success there are words that you speak once and they do all things I want you today to be taken and put where you'll speak once and things will happen where are you right now? I'm fetching you where you are. You see, I'm speaking with words. There are people that have been bound by witchcraft. That have been bound by spirits. Which is the world of slavery. Which is the valley of the shadow of death. Which is the wilderness. They're sitting there and they, they see things not happening. And you're just sitting there. And you said, no, I was born like this. I was created like this. I'll even die like this. You will really die like this. Really die like that. Because now you've put your signature on the table. But if you were going against it, you would die in the, in, the, in the land of Job. You would die in the land of Job. You would die in the land of Job. Are you with me, brother? Do you hear what I'm saying about words? Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't remember when he created the heavens and the earth. There's no way where it says that he stood up. There's no way. I think the only time that he got up was when he was going to go. When he was creating the universe, he just spoke. But why are you toiling so much when something needs to happen? I said, today something is going to happen. I'm asking, why are you toiling so much? You are, daughter. You are the son of the Most High. But you are toiling. Why? Why? It should not be that way. Today I'm going to take you out of the world of toiling. We will say, why do you speak when you're so chill? We shout when you take the demons out. But you just speak and things happen. And I say, I believe the words I speak. Everything that I say, I believe. Do you hear this? Whatever I say, I believe. Once, and I wait for it to happen. Whispers. Do you hear what I'm saying? I want you to reach the level where you believe in your words. They'll run and come here. 
We shout as if our God is deaf. Deaf. That he God, do you hear me? Even when he hears you when you whisper, even when you've said it with your heart, not even with your mouth. The way that you shout, just comes out. God, God, you to go to God, God is dead. Father. No, Baba. No, Father. Oh, it's okay. When you're used to it, you can carry as, on. As We're not coming God against to it. it. But don't let your shouting be what Even provokes him. Yeah, Even if you say, Dad, I love you, something will happen. This is a new ear. He's cutting. Mount Zion Carnation is a port. To receive things that come from the heavens. And be distributed all over South Africa, Africa, and the whole world. As I'm speaking now, something is going to happen. How many times have I said this that something is going to happen? Why hasn't it happened? Because I haven't yet released it. But I'm about to release it. And once I've released it, even the heavens will be When I have held it back, even the heavens will be back. Because I know who I am. Not because I'm proud. It's just to know who I am. My ambassador. To know that I am an ambassador. To know that what I buy is bad. Right now, I've held this thing from happening. But when I say it's going to happen, you will see what's going to happen in this house. Even people who are watching on Facebook will be touched. Even those who are listening on radio will be affected. Because who's released it? I've released it. I'm the postman who's going to receive uh, the postman. I'm going to release power. I'm going to release everything that you want. Ay, you see, now I'm releasing it now. In the heavens, it's been released a long time ago, but it's been waiting for me to release it so that you can also release it onto earth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Today, I want you to look at your words. Don't speak anyhow. Don't allow situations to dictate what you speak. Speak what you must speak. Don't speak because of a situation. You understand? Do you understand? You see now? I'm releasing this thing from heaven. Something's going to happen. It doesn't need me to cause a rule. Do you hear this? to receive it, release it. <laughs> you see, in hand, I'm carrying it. You hear this? What am I doing? I'm carrying it. I'm carrying this thing from heaven. I'm carrying this thing from God. Because I control it. How can you control something that comes from God? You can. It's in me. I'm controlling it. It is powerful. But now we are working together. I don't know if you can hear me. Oh my God. I feel like you don't hear me. Do you hear me? I'm grateful that you hear me. I'm about to release it. Although I'm going to release it, I'm going to release it in a certain location. I won't release it everywhere. Because if I release it to everyone, What What I want to happen won't happen in the way that I want it to happen because I wanted to build up your faith. I'm carrying it in my hand. I'm going to give it to someone. It's a rival, we'll feel that it is. Yeah? We will feel that it has arrived. But now, you see, the coronavirus doesn't allow me to put my hands on you. Whether you've taken it from me or I've taken it from you, I'm just speaking as a person, not as a servant of God. Yes. 
So, what I have defeats coronavirus. It defeats witchcraft. Do you hear this? Let me start this side. I'm going to sit down and don't stand up. I'm going to release it. I'll give it to you. You can see Pinky. They can see you. I'll give her this. Something that will change it. I'm delivering it. I'm at the port. The things from here are delivered to the port. Before, before it goes to individuals. Right now I'm giving it to you. As I'm giving it to her. It doesn't matter what happens. If there's something that happens or something that doesn't happen. But what I know. What did I do? What did I do? I've delivered her things. As she's receiving her things. Someone is receiving next to her. God to again. Job and receive. As she is receiving. She's felt what she's receiving. She's she's receiving. She's 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 she
Oh, what, listening on highway radio I'm sorry, we have to say goodbye God has but we're continuing Karen. on Facebook and Car Radio I'm going to do this thing that God Gizwo wants me to do to I'm going to revive the people of God something that you've never seen or heard that is happening right now in Mount Zion God bless and also you. Please, if you want to continue, YouTube. listen on car radio and on Facebook and on Zenia YouTube. I'm continuing. Swanem so me ministries. Yes. Do you hear me, brethren? Do you hear what I'm saying? There's something that's happening. I said I'm going Do you hear me? Even 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 if I Everything is light or if it's hard, but no, it's not. Hard. But this thing of God is alive. Can you Do you want this? Yeah? Do you want this? I'll just release it. I'm coming to change your lives now. Explaining to you what coronavirus taught me. That you can get it without asking for it. Yes, and don't sound like excited. Oh, verse I excite the coronavirus. You can get coronavirus without asking for it. How much more is How much more so with the blessing of God that you will walk with taking it from the presence of God going to your family. They will get that blessing without asking for it. They will heal without asking if we didn't ask to get how much more into how much more things are coming from God? God. And do you and to ask God? It's like you're tired here, Ninanda. Is coronavirus tiring you out? <laughs> Do you hear this? Something is happening right now. Who? Yes. I'm still looking where I'm going to release it. Even in the Mlazi, I left them drunk and on the floor. There are people saying you are, you are stingy with this thing of God. And I say if I'm stingy, then don't put me in the middle. Go and fetch it for yourself. Now I'm in airport on my own. I can fly for myself. I do it my way. You can't force me to do it your way. Do it in your way. I'm carrying it. Mrs. Kumete. I'm going to give it to you What do you need? What do you need? Just gonna do what you needed to do. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. It's yours, ma'am. Ngala si si unga si si kamera ya ubo ubo elapan. Kini nga zinto zin. Do you think I need to touch you for you to receive? Others will say this one is no longer anointed. You don't know anything. 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 You the way that you come out of Egypt is not the same way that you come to Canaan. It will never be the same. It will never be the same. I'm giving you exactly what you need. This is another time.
Please just believe me that as I'm leading you, I'll take you home. Because I'm the one who's going to you. You can't tell me what to do. When they hire drivers, they tell them this is the route. And the passenger, you can't tell the driver to go off track. You can't tell the driver to go off track. Track. It's not a taxi that he takes you. But a bus goes on a certain route. Abanye lente ngibanikeza yona ibanikeza ifreedom net healing and abanye ibanikeza imvuselele ibanikeza iba i breakthrough abanye. Others it is giving them freedom, healing and breakthrough. You'll see in the weeks to come, it is the seventh day. Do you know what seventh means? It means something that is coming. So now the things that are coming are coming to you. I'm not distributing this thing of God. I want you to go to that lady yeah. with the yellow. I'm going to give it to you, my girl. Don't stand up, just relax. What I want to say to you Please believe God. Don't have any fear. Be not afraid of any spirit. Let there be no spirit that you're afraid of. I want you to not be afraid of any spirit, but believe in Jesus. What I'm going to give you today It's greater than the thing that you're fighting every day. I'm going to give it to you right now. Are you ready to receive? This is going to change your life. I'm giving it to you now. Within a minute, is in days of I want to see things happen in a moment's time. Because here, Because this thing of Jesus is alive. It works wherever you are. You see, it's filling up the whole body, the whole spirit, and the whole soul. Just by saying that, she has now got a testimony. You brethren need to believe in such a way that God when he speaks a word even through his servant evaluate it if it really is genuine before you receive it. God but you need to know the person who's used 